So hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guess what I'm gonna do? I am- Please. No, I'm not gonna clean. Damn it. I'm actually gonna make Holly's birthday cake. That's it. From what I would call scratch. Yeah, oh, See you I know. Um, all day long I've been putting it off. It's got to about five o'clock and I've just decided I'm gonna do it. So oh, what we need to do first is, well, I've already been to Tesco's and I've got the goods. So I'm gonna need two of them. Um, I wanna get like a bowl to do the mixing in. This will do. So these are the cakes. I definitely don't want a chocolate one. I don't want a red velvet one. I need something plain. I don't need to worry about toppers because we've got that all sorted. Some cool ones though. But I think the ones I'm gonna get are better. Just need some icing. Right, so I've gone and done that. But what you need to make sure you're doing when you're baking is you need to make sure your hands are thoroughly washed and your hair is tied back. So I'm gonna get a hair bubble for my hair in a minute. So I've been to Tesco's and I've got the essentials. Right, so Tim thinks I'm cheating because I got a Betty Crocker <laughs> where you just add a few things. But I don't think I am cheating actually, not really, because there's quite a few things I need to add to this. I need to add eggs, oil, jam, the icing, the water, that's practically the whole cake. So it's not completely cheating. It's just a little bit, it's just a little bit cheating. And then I've got my buttercream all ready to go on here. And bear in mind, I'm not very good at making cakes anyway, so it's fine. I've got a cake box, 12 inch. Hopefully that will be an all right size. We've got some medium free range eggs. I believe we need three of those. I've got some dairy-free butter. Bear in mind, these are, well, these are dairy-free. So it says in a may contain milk, but they usually say that to cover themselves in case, you know, because it's made in the same sort of factory and everything. So they should be fine for us to have. Um, I got two of these uh, 20 centimetre sandwich tins as I was advised to do this on my coffee morning because I wasn't sure how I was going to get the jam and the cream in to make this look here. And I was told to get two sandwich tins. So cook one sponge, then another sponge, and then put the filling like in the middle and then put it on top. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, I've got a cake board, which it's going to sit on. So that's here. And I bought this bowl. And um, yeah, do you know what this reminds me of though? Because I do, I do actually have a cake bowl, but it's battered because... It's been at the bottom of the cupboard for so long. So, yeah, I'm I'm not going to be using that. But this bowl does remind me of, you know, like, you know when you're at school and you've been sent to the sick room and they give you a bowl because you feel sick? Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. So, yeah, that's my first thoughts when I saw that. Um, but, yeah, this is everything I've got. So, all in all, I've probably spent... So, rounding it all off, this all cost me... Bear in mind, I'm only going to use a couple of these eggs. We're looking at around about £18 for what we've got here in front of us right now. I've tied my hair back because it's important because you do not want to get any hair in the food when you're cooking. If you can call it cooking. Baking. This is going to be the worst baking vlog you've ever seen in your life. I just know it. I'm now just going to put this in my selfie stand. Yeah. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, the hair is tied back, hands are washed, which is what you've got to do. You've also got to make sure that your surfaces are nice and clean. So I'm just going to double check actually. I do have a wipe here, an anti-back wipe. I'm going to make sure this is all done as well. Because you cannot cook on dirty surfaces. And I don't know why, but I clean my surfaces down every single day. And no matter what happens, I always end up getting loads and loads of little bits on them, even if we don't use it. 
So where these little black bits come from, I don't know. It's so, so strange, but, um, so yeah. I think, we see, look, loads of little bits. I blame the window, because the window is like directly above us. So when the window's open, I just think bits can fly in through. Also bought a new kettle. We bought a Russell Hobbs one. We're trying to change the kitchen to a bit more of a white look. We're going from like a red to a white. So we bought the kettle to match the velvetizer and the um, air fryer is white as well. And now my selfie stick is white. So everything is going a little bit more white. These we've had for years. I don't know why we've gone for yellow. Tim just made me a cup of tea as well, but he's gone off with my coffee morning mug and I've got his. I don't think he realised what he's done, really. But that's going to keep me going. I was going to have a wine, but I thought, no, nah, don't worry about it. So anyway, first steps. Everything's washed up, ready to go. So it's all clean. Like, I do need to read the instructions really carefully because I'm no cake maker, okay? So um, first thing we need to do... Oh, my God. Um... This is really hard to make a task. I'm trying to vlog and read it out at the same time. Damn it. It says I need oil. I forgot to get oil. I don't need oil, do I? What do I need oil for? What's the oil for? Beat the eggs, water, oil and cake mix. We don't need oil. Nah. Have we got any oil? I don't think I have. So it says on here actually, 90 ml of vegetable oil or 90 grams of melted butter. Um, and which means I'm now gonna have to go and heat some butter up, aren't I? Because I don't have any vegetable oil. So, um, fabulous. So here we go. I can crack an egg just about. There we go. That I can, that mummy can do. Hey, Fumps. Don't turn the washing machine on, Fumps. I've got Fumps down here. <laughs> Fumps is down here. So we're cracking three eggs. Don't turn the washing machine on, Fumps. Doesn't need to go on. I mean, even if we get a little bit, of, even if we get like a little bit of shell in here, doesn't matter. Well... Apart from it being sharp, nah, it's fine. There we go. So we've got three eggs. And this is why you get nothing done when you've got a baby, because I'm trying right now to make a cake and he's turning the washing machine on. No, no, no. Okay, so that's the eggs done. So we need water now. It's saying that I need 180 ml of water. So I'm just going to pop them in there for now. Don't worry, it's all going in the same pot anyway, so it's all right to mix it up, I'm sure. So 180 mil, which isn't actually a lot, is it really? Ooh. I also don't actually have any weighing scales or anything. So I'm just gonna have to rough guess this. This is 500 grams in here and I actually need 90, is it? Let me just double check. Yeah, 90 grams. So I'm just gonna rough guess this. So yeah, if I split that into five, this is what it's roughly gonna be, I think, yeah. And I'm hoping that's going to melt over the hot water. Because if I put the pan on, I'm going to have to move the camera settings and everything. And I can't be bothered to do it. So when you're trying to put on a little bit of a show, it's not as easy as you think. So I'm just going to stir it around. It is melting though, but it's working. I could just squash it in. Should I put some more hot water in here? Speed up the job.
want to make a cake with mummy? Yeah? Janice has worn her hands. I could do with some assistance. Is that it? Is that what you get in this box? Some vanilla cake mix? Yeah, it's melting. That is melting. I just think that kettle needed a blast because you see the thing is, it was hot. Don't turn the washing machine on! It was hot from when Tim made that cup of tea and that's not hot anymore really. That is taking a long time actually. I think I've actually been standing here about 10 minutes trying to melt the butter into an oil texture. Um... I could have done it over a pan, to be honest with you, but I was trying to be lazy about it. But by being lazy about it, it's actually took longer. So it would have been a little bit better if I actually did do it over the pan. So it just goes to show that being lazy is not good at all. But while it's still doing it, it's getting there, it's getting there, but it's taking time. Um, but now I feel like almost there. So there's definitely no point in actually put it over the pan now because the whole time doing this would have been a waste of time so I'm just going to see it through now but in the meantime um I've got into my Betty Crocker kit and I've got the cake mixture and I'm going to add it to the eggs and to the water my time is really precious this is the problem here and it's getting late I left it very very late so I just kind of want to get on with it a little bit um I'm just gonna chuck it in. I'm just gonna chuck it in. And if we fail, at least we know it doesn't work for next time. You know what, it's actually like cream. That's the only way to describe it. It'll be fine. It's all good. It's all good. I'm sure it's only to give it a bit of grease anyway. So I don't think it really matters. My eggs. I've got my water. I've got my oily butter I've got the cake mixture this is actually meant to make two of those little cake tins so what is that 20 what you what what are they again yeah so i should be able to fill two of those little cake tins anyway with this Give it a good mix. Give it a good mix. Gives your muscles this. Oh, it smells good. I do want to eat it. This is the problem with me. When I was a kid, my mum did a lot of baking indoors. She was one of those mums that would bake at Christmas and stuff like that. She never baked birthday cakes, but she did like, you know, bake fairy cakes and sausage rolls and things like that. My granny used to bake a lot. My granny was really good at it. My mum was really good at it. I, I must take after my dad because I'm terrible. Although my dad is a really good cook in general, but I've never seen him bake anything. So I think I can only assume I take after my dad. Maybe my grandma, she was never one for being in the kitchen. It's exhausting though. So here it is. We're doing good. But yeah, when my mum used to bake cakes, I always used to want to get a little spoon at the end and go all the way around it and eat the cake mixture. I absolutely loved it. I used to try and dip my finger in it and my mum used to go ballistic if I did that. Not only was it absolutely filthy to do that, but if I carried on doing it, there really would be no mixture left. So that's probably why. Okay, so we're ready to pour it into the tins. It does say here, um, Obviously, beat the eggs, water, oil and cake mix all together for two to three minutes until smooth and creamy. And it says, do not eat unbaked batter. And I've just had a little bit off camera because I didn't want you guys to know how bad I was. Um, and it says, do in capital D, not eat. Whoops! Guilty! Okay, let's do it. Let's pour it in. Got 
try and make this even. <gasps> I knew I'd get it on the worktop. Okay, I think there's more in that one than that one. So here they are, um, ready to go. Next step, see I told you I'm doing this in baby steps. I've got a little baby down here around, around my legs. Am I supposed to get anything done? I've got to bake for 22 to 27 minutes or until a rounded knife inserted in the center comes out clean. So what am I putting the oven up at? Is it 180? Is it 180? Does it say cool for 10 minutes tins, then remove from tins, let cool completely. And then put a layer of Betty Crocker vanilla buttercream style icing on the bottom half of the cake. Then a layer of strawberry jam. I've got some of that. Sandwich together and sprinkle with icing sugar. Yeah, but what do I put the oven up at? Is it 180? It's got to be 180. Oh, 160. Sorry, I didn't read that bit. 160. Oh, no, I didn't grease the tins. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure it doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't grease the tins. Too late now, innit? Right, preheat the oven. Give that a sec to heat up and then we're ready to go. Yay! My goodness, these are looking good. Woohoo! You really chuffed about that. Just gotta get a knife through there now and just see if it's okay. Let's give them a couple more minutes because I've just put the knife in. And it does look a little bit like it might be a bit wet still in the middle. So, yeah, just going to give it a few more minutes and see how we get on. Um, but they've been in for 22 minutes. They did say 22 to 27. So I think it all depends on what the situation is with the knife and how long it's been preheated, really. So, yeah, fingers crossed in a couple of minutes we'll be ready to go. But because they haven't greased the tint, I don't know if they're going to come out. All right, so we've got two halves of a cake. I've just got to let them cool down for a bit now. And then once they've cooled down, I can start putting the butter icing on. This is exciting. So, so they're edible. So that's a good start. So what I need to do now is I need to remove these. They've cooled down enough for me to remove them from the tins. This is make or break. I'm terrified because I didn't grease them. Just one at a time. What are you doing? Oh man. I've got this little thing to put it on. I don't really know what to put it on at all. Like I don't have, I'm not a professional cake maker so I don't have one of those oh. metal things to display them on. You know, the little metal racks. But this is what I don't get. I needed one of those tins that you undo from the side and the bottom bit falls out because how am I supposed to... Unless we do it like this. Maybe, I don't know, if you pat it, you know, like if you're on the beach. You grease it. What, and then it slides out? Yeah. I've actually, oh my God, I'm breaking it at the sides, but I'm actually doing it. Breaking at the bottom a little bit. Okay. Oh my god. I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Oh my god, I have learned a valuable lesson though. I will increase <laughs> in the future. We're getting there. Right, I've got to do the same with this one now. But I don't want to get this one out yet because I'm thinking to myself, if I'm not 
icing yet. I don't want to. Can do it, I'm doing it. Slide out, that's it, that's it. Yes. There you go. It's like giving birth. <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> so I've got to let them cool down a little bit more. And then, and then I've got to get some icing, some butter icing, and do like a layer under. And then I've got to put normal jam, like jam you put on your toast, on top. And then put that on top of that and then ice so yeah this is exciting i am actually quite chuffed with myself they're actually in one piece a few crumbs but and a few cracks but in one piece Okay, so I've got the butter icing. I need to save some of this because I need this for the top as well. So I'm gonna have to go sparingly with it because this is actually meant to be like a Victoria sponge mixture or recipe, should we say. And obviously, because we didn't want to go for a chocolate cake or anything. Okay. Oh, here we go. I don't think it's going to be much icing for the rest of the cake. This is the only problem. Might have to be quite thin inside. It's a nice little thin layer there. Save the rest for on top. Now I'm gonna go get some jam. It's a good job that we've got some because I never really thought when I went into Tesco's to get any. Okay. I always thought that when you're baking like a Victoria sponge, I always thought they'd be like a like a particular kind of baking jam. Like I always thought they'd have like in the baking section some sort of jam in a tube or something that you use for things like this i didn't realize it was actually normal jam from a jam jar that's how clueless i am when it comes to baking cakes but if i put quite a bit of jam in it that might compensate for the lack of icing in the middle so it's really jammed out I surprised myself here the only problem is i am guilty of not making it from scratch so I do feel a little bit bad about that now it actually says like in the guide that on the icing bit because obviously once we put the top the victoria sponge on top a bit of icing sugar which i don't have but i don't need that anyway because i'm gonna ice it but once that goes on the top, that's your Victoria sponge done, just like that. But obviously you'd have more buttercream inside. It hasn't got a lot of height, but it's all right considering, look. We are definitely missing cream on here, but by the time I butter it, it's gonna be all right. Now it says here, Spread or pipe onto your cooled Betty Crocker cake. Stir thoroughly until smooth. If too thick to pour, microwave five to 10 seconds longer. Pour icing over the cake so it drips down the side. Okay, so, okay. Obviously I've already used a third of it inside, but what can we do about that? Not a lot. So, I'm just gonna, Go with it. She's lucky to have any icing at all, really. In fact, she's lucky to have a cake. Hey, what are you doing, Mr. Bubbups? I asked Tim a minute ago if he's proud of me. Are you proud of me, Tim? Very much so. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Can't wait to show my dad. I'm like, Dad, guess what? Dad! Oh my 
worried about it squashing down and it just, do you know what I mean, not keeping its height. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's, it's cooked. There's no like wet bits inside or nothing, but I'm just worried that <laughs> it's just gonna go flat and I need some height because it's a birthday cake. One of my biggest problems when it comes to cooking and baking is patience. You need a lot of patience when you're cooking. But it is right, somebody said to me on the coffee morning this morning how therapeutic bacon is and it actually is. It was surprising actually. Anyway, I'm gonna microwave this now and then I'm gonna pour it all on. Let it drip down the sides. I do have a box for this. Right, okay. So how long is it going for? 20 seconds. It's not ideal, is it? Okay, so yeah, it's creamy, it's creamy. So that's good, that's the consistency we're looking for. I've got a large plate here, so if I put this on here, okay, change of plan, forget the plate, forget the plate, I'll put that back. Okay, I'm pouring it. It's going on like custard actually. I feel like I need to do it slow. Hang on, the bottom bit's just gone in the cake. <laughs> it's working. Does it go down the sides on that side? I can't see it that way. Wow, it's working. Oh, I'm going a bit too fast. Slow down. You put a bit more on the top, I think. Wow, I could have probably put a little bit more in the um, middle, thinking about it. Wow. I assume it's all right to come back onto the top. I don't think Tim is quite going to believe this when he sees it. I did this. See, there's quite a lot draped in on the bottom though, but I suppose I'd just get a knife and clean that up right. I think we're done good. I think. All gone. So there is quite a bit on the bottom, so I'm just gonna shuffle some of that up. If only Holly knew what I was doing for her. I think she's bothered, you know. I don't want to lose any icing over the cake, so I'm just going to... looks a bit snotty, to be honest. Maybe you're supposed to let it like dry a little bit before styling it. I know it's not like a hair salon, but you know what I mean? I want it to be... Um, 
not too flat if you know what you mean because I want it to look buttery so I want it to uh, kind of spread it out evenly but I don't want a polished finish if that makes sense because I think if we go for a little bit of a rough finish then if we have any mistakes it's not noticeable see the butter icing is already starting to set on it it's actually at a good consistency to style it but when you go to the sides it is sticking a little bit to the cake so it's uh, like pulling a little bit of the sponge off wow everyone is going to be shocked that i did this wait till we get obviously tomorrow in the post i'm getting my cake toppers from cake topper uk give them a follow on instagram because they're sending me some cake toppers suitable for holly for her birthday so that's gonna finish the cake off nicely so i'm looking forward to them arriving i can't wait to see what they're going to be like but it is setting it's setting so the excess cream I'm trying to bring up around the sides a little bit actually so that you know it doesn't all gather up around the bottom and we can use a little bit more on the top. It's quite satisfying knowing that you've achieved it. I can imagine when people get really artistic with cakes how chuffed they feel about themselves. And there it is. <laughs> there it is. I'm really trying to get this like all smooth, but I can't because it's gone to that point now where it's quite gluey and I'm just making a mess. So I can't really do much with it right now. So I didn't realise how quick you had to be when you're icing. But you know, this is all practice, isn't it really? I think it looks okay. It's oh my god, they have arrived. They look insane. So these were done by Cupcake Toppers UK. You can find them on Instagram, so give them a follow. Amazing. They have literally thought of everything. Everything Holly likes is here. What a difference that cake looks putting these toppers on the top. Oh, yeah. You know? Looks great. The only thing I should have done is made a bigger ones because I do feel like I've had to really squeeze all the little items on. But oh. I didn't expect to. I didn't expect to be sent that many yeah, you items. Didn't but think you've got that many things to put on it. Anyway, that you don't need anything bigger than that. Look how the detail on these cake toppers. No, they're amazing, aren't they? They look so real. I love it. Can't wait to show her. Holly was absolutely thrilled with her birthday cake, and I must say, it is extremely satisfying to make your own. A special thank you to Cake Toppers UK for sending me the toppers to make this birthday cake what it was. You can follow them on Instagram, their link will be in the description of this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you next time.